isolation storm. A storm had its way with us. So engulfed we were for so long that the weatherman did not report it, unaware that we were in there, and assuming no one wanted to be informed of a storm over nothing. The rocks of our weathered foundations washing up on neighbor shores finally lured senses to our existence. The snow at first came to us as children would, innocent and pure as its crystalline makeup would suggest, tugging our attention with sporadic sprinklings of our lawns like light visitations of dandruff, only to dissolve in playful mischief by the time we had finished work. Later, it seemed as though the snow had sprouted from the ground. We saw the stolid glare of the sleek white walls before us, but never saw or heard the process of construction taking place. It tarnished our notion of construction as something noisy and obstructionist. We shuddered for so many years in the cold that was walled in with us in our snowbound state, but have since come to the realization that snow and ice, like children, are rhetorically harmless, so it would have been okay.